Hello everyone, welcome to my Wizard of Oz inspired Lush Bath Cocktail. This one has been so fun to put together. I'm sure, just like me, you guys have loved this movie for a really long time, ever since you were little. I used to actually, it's kind of funny, I used to come home every day whenever I got off the bus from kindergarten. I would eat SpaghettiOs and then I would make a tent in the basement and watch Wizard of Oz every day. I was obsessed with it. I loved it so much. Sorry if you can hear the train. It's like honking from a distance. Anyway, so I've loved it forever and then I also was in the musical whenever I was in high school. So I love Wizard of Oz. Anyway, this is just a decorative plate that I've had um, forever. My aunt gave me this set of four really cool movie, like classic movie plates, and Wizard of Oz is one of them, so I thought I'd put it out. It's just a fun little set that I use sometimes whenever I'm having appetizers or something. And then, of course, we have the Wizard of Oz DVD. I think there's like a really good special edition that came out in the past few years that I really want to get my hands on. It has like a ton of special features, but this one does have a really good featurette on it too that I think is like a full length movie. So just in case you have this version and have never tried to watch the special features, it has a really good behind the scenes kind of look at how the movie was made and stuff like that. All right, let's go ahead and get into the cocktail. There's two options I have for the bath bomb because one of them is a Christmas only item. I'm gonna use So White, which basically smells like a juicy red apple, um, like a fresh apple. Or you could use Fizz Banger, which has more of a cinnamony apple smell, but either one really will work fine. This one is year round and this one is only at Christmas, so you might have one from a gift set you haven't used yet or one that you were holding on to and I think it'll work really well in this cocktail. And I just thought that would be good for the bath bomb because I always think of the apple throwing trees when they throw apples at them when they're on the yellow brick road. And also whenever I did the musical, my best friend Katie was one of those trees. So I just thought it would be funny to make that the center of this cocktail. Then of course we have Dorothy for our bubble bar which is the figs and leaves scent and you know this is perfect because of the name and thinking about her singing somewhere over the rainbow. So This will be a really nice combination that I've never tried before but just by doing like a scent test a minute ago it smells like it's going to be wonderful. And then for the bath melt we're going to use half of Ceridwen's Cauldron. I actually still need to cut this up and cut it in half, which is what I do with these. It is kind of a pain, but it's worth it because I like making my Lush products last for multiple uses. And this is just ultra moisturizing. It's probably the most moisturizing bath melt, I think. It has lots of different butters in it, oats, wildflowers, lavender, and sandalwood. But overall, when it has strong flavors mixed with it, or strong scents, I mean, it really just kind of melds with whatever you have in the bath. I'm just really wanting it because of, I'm kind of wanting a moisturizing bath. And also, I just thought it would be good for the Wicked Witch because she might be, you know, coming up with her spells and making potions and things like that in her cauldron. So, kind of to go with that, for my soap, I have a sample I got this weekend of Demon in the Dark. It's an apple minty soap, so that kind of goes with the apple. And I just thought this would be good for the Wicked Witch because it's a very, I know it's not showing on screen this way, but it's a very, very dark green soap. So I thought that'd go good with the Wicked Witch. And then the other soap option I have is kind of the sweetness that I'm bringing into the cocktail. And this is the Godmother. And I thought this would be great because of Glinda. She's the Good Witch, kind of like you know, kind of like a godmother. So, um, I thought this would be great. And you know that the same scent as godmother is Snow Fairy. So, I thought that would be good for the shower gel. And it says, fabulously fruity, candy floss pink and sweet as sugar shower gel. So, I just thought that would be great to kind of mix it up. This is definitely a very creative cocktail. We have a lot of different scents going 
But the cool thing is, is that they all mix together very well. I, I'm really going to love this one. Then for shampoo and conditioner, for shampoo, I'm going to be using I Love Juicy. It says, our fantastically fresh fruity shampoo is packed with kiwi, papaya, and pineapple juices to thoroughly cleanse oily hair while seaweed gel and sea salt will add a touch of shine and bounce. This is probably my favorite shampoo. I love, I love Juicy. It just smells so sweet and it really, really gets your hair clean. And I was just kind of thinking of the Scarecrow and how he had hay as hair. So he definitely is in need of some good, good shampoo like that. So, for my conditioner, I'm going to be using the rest of a sample I have of Retread, and it's actually in the shower, but this is the top of it. I have enough left for one more use, and I just thought this would be good because they're making the really long trip to see the wizard on the yellow brick road. And Retread is the richest conditioner they have. It's triple strength for extra softness, and it has cantaloupe melon in it, seaweed, and yogurt. And I've actually really been enjoying that. To be honest, I didn't want to like it just because it is a big investment every time. You can't buy a small bottle of it. It comes in only one size and it's $28. But I'm thinking I might ask for it for Valentine's Day for my husband because it just, I think that's what I've been looking for from Lush in my conditioner. Um, but I still need to try Jungle, so I don't want to speak too soon. Alright, and then... To finish off, I'm going to use the Vanilla D-Light Lotion and then the Vanilla Puff Powder. However, I do have a second option because a lot of this movie is all about the journey and the long, tough journey to get to the Emerald City, which is why I have this backdrop today. It's actually an old prom dress from high school, so it's like from... 10 years ago almost. Man, I'm getting old. Um, anyway, so I thought I would do a foot treatment with this and kind of give you guys the option to do that if you want. So what I'm going to start out by doing is I'm going to sit around for a few minutes outside of the bath first and do the volcano foot mask. I'm going to spread it all over my feet and then put them in storage bags for about 10 minutes. And I have heard a lot about the smell of this and how it's not a good smell. And I do agree with them. It's pretty potent and strong, but that definitely means it's going to really deodorize your feet and get them feeling good. So I'm really excited to use that, actually. Then I'm going to, in the bath, use Stepping Stone, which actually looks like a little foot. But I like to grind it down to a powder like this and use it in the bath on my feet. And it has a really good citrusy and lemony smell. And then to finish off, while I'm using my Vanilla D-Light, I thought it would be a good vanilla peppermint smell and that it wouldn't, you know, combat each other with the scents. It would combine nicely because Fair Trade Foot Lotion is what I'm going to end off with my feet. And it's just a nice pepperminty foot lotion that it just feels amazing. It really does wonders on your feet. It's a revitalizing minty foot cream. And it has spearmint and peppermint. It's very cooling. So that would definitely help Dorothy's feet after that long trip to the Emerald City. So this is what I am using today. As always, this is one of the luxury bath cocktails. So if you just want to use like so white, you know, a half or fourth of Dorothy and half of Sarah Dwin's Cauldron and have yourself a Wizard of Oz bath, you can totally do that. Um, I just like to give you a lot of different options so that you can kind of pick and choose what you already have or what you want to buy to make this scent come together. I'll see you in the bath. Okay, so we have the water all the way filled up in the tub. And I forgot to tell you guys my candle. I'm so sorry. I'm going to be burning the Cranberry Pear Bellini because it has a little bit of tartness, but also some sweetness to it. So I thought that would go well with the apple-y sweet smell. I have a feeling this is going to smell a little candy apple-ish, but not in the usual ones that I've seen on YouTube. So I actually 
that I was going to use so white, but you know what? I never used Fizz Banger at all. I actually bought it this weekend for this. So, and it's cooler on camera. So white is just like a white frothing bath bomb, which is fine, but I'm more in a big bang kind of mood. So let's look at Fizz Banger. It's going away. And it's not just this color, it's gonna have some surprises. So while we're waiting for that, this is half of my Sarah Dwin's Cauldron in my own cheesecloth and ribbon that I had just lying around. Whatever ribbon works or rubber band, it doesn't really matter. And then while we're waiting, I'll put Dorothy in. Okay, the colors are really starting to come out now, the blue. Just lots of blue. It's getting close. It's so pretty. It's turning the whole bath green like the Emerald City. That is just so awesome, guys. I love this one in the water. I don't know why I don't get this one more. Maybe I've been converted. Okay, it's just about done, but it's kind of like Twilight and Dragon's Egg. Those That outer shell sometimes takes a really long time to disintegrate. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the jets. Look at that green water. Okay, and there is the bath. I know it'll be really hard to pick up on this, but even the bubbles have like a green tinge to them. This is totally turned into an Emerald City bath. I love this. All right. Well, have a great night, guys. And I haven't watched Wizard of Oz in a long time, so I'm really looking forward to getting in the bath and watching some of it tonight. I hope you guys have a great evening. Bye.